MMAfighting.com in Cardiff, Wales with Mr. Nicholas Dalby. How are you, Nicholas? You're looking very well. I'm, uh, I'm feeling much better than uh, a couple of hours ago when I was on the scales. It was a pretty tough week at this time around, so much better now. I'm actually, I'm very surprised to hear that because I thought you looked quite fresh in the scales. Um, I, I'm surprised. Was it one of your, your um, more memorable ones on the bad side of things? Yeah, this was definitely a tough one. I, I had to cut about 20 pounds. Uh, for some reason, I was just five pounds heavier throughout this fight camp than I usually am. So it was just like I tried to get rid of it, but it just kind of kept sitting. Maybe because I'm a dad now and that, that strength just added on. <laughs> that, that's probably it. Yeah. I, I was actually interested to know, are you aware of how excited everybody is about this fight? Because, okay, most UFC audiences around the world, they, they know who Nicholas Dalby is, but they might not have heard of Philip Mulpeter, but he has a, he has a very big name in the UK and Ireland. Do, do you understand the, uh, the amount of excitement that's surrounding this bout? Probably not, because I haven't really, you know, for some reason it hasn't appeared on my social media or where I've picked up my news. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of it, but I'm happy to hear. Do you, do you do much homework? Do you like to look into fights? Because I think, I think what, what people see in this fight is two guys that just don't give up, that two guys are going to meet each other in the middle and it's going to be pretty hellish for the probably 15 minutes that it's going to last. Sounds like it's going to be a good fight then. But yeah, I, I saw it in uh, Molpita's eyes today at the way and see uh, he didn't seem overly aggressive as some people can uh, can be at, at the stare downs. He seemed uh, pretty self, uh, he seemed pretty confident and, uh, and game. Uh, and that usually brings out the best in me as well in fights. So uh, it's going to be a good one. How, how, do you, how does it feel to get back in the win column the last time? It was a fantastic win. I mean, I think it was a head kick, knockdown, to back take to, to submission. Yeah, so how, how good did that feel to get back in the win column? Because it was quite a, you know, the, the three fights get at the time. Is that, is that a big mental thing to, to get back in the win column in terms of your confidence? I didn't think it would be, but, but yeah, it definitely has been. Uh, the last fight was a must-win fight as well against a, such a low-ranked opponent. Uh, respect for him for stepping up and taking the fight, though, but it was a pretty low-ranked opponent, so I, I, I felt like I had to win the fight. Um, but yeah, it feels good getting that win in. It, it was like, it felt like it was, uh, it was a win I got cheated for in the, in the previous fight in, in Gothenburg. Not that, uh, you know... I did what I did, and my opponent did what I did. He could in that fight, but I, f I, I felt like I won that fight, and I carried that feeling into into the previous fight, and and just getting the result, actually getting the win on paper, it felt better than I thought it would. It feels like you you're the guy with the target on his back, right? Because you you are a big name. You you're a former Cage Warriors champion. We all saw your fantastic run. You've been in the UFC. You you drew with Darren Till in Dublin, and what was a fantastic fight. Do you feel like that now? Now when you're with Cage Warriors, do you feel like you're the guy at welterweight that everybody wants that win over because it is it, it's a status win, right? Yeah, perhaps in a way. I, I need to work my way further up the ranks like after this fight I, I for sure think that I'd be the, the guy to beat besides the champion um, but who, let's see hopefully soon I, I'm gonna be the champion in cage wars again does that mean something to you having already climbed to the top of the mountain in terms of cage warriors um, you know does, does the does the belt is it still important to you and um, like I know a guy like Ross Houston would love to fight a, a, a veteran of your ma magnitude obviously but but does it still have the same thing for you as it did the first time around would you say Absolutely, absolutely. Getting that Cage Wars title is, is it's a stamp of approval. And I've had that stamp before, but I want to get it back. Um, no matter if I continue to UFC after or not, it's nice having that belt and, and, and having that title. It, it, it's kind of like uh, getting a, a, some, the best acknowledgement of, you, of your work that you can get. You did a fantastic article with my colleague Chuck Mendenhall um, at one point. You were very honest, and uh, you know it's a very hard thing to be about, you know, mental health, drinking, and stuff like that. I is that a passage that you've absolutely closed the door on now? Do you feel like it's a new lease of life for you at the moment? Yeah, I really do feel. Um, I had kind of like a a small dip in, in in like my mental health after the the previous fight that I felt like in in Gothenburg at uh, Cage Wars ninety. Yeah, something. Is this Carlo Pedersoli fight, was it? Yeah, that was a yeah. Carlo Pedersoli fight. I had a small dip after that fight, back into some, some bad stuff, but uh, 
I picked myself up again, and, and it wasn't a, as big as a dip of uh, I had had before. Um, but yeah, it was. Your colleague was very good at, at at making me feel relaxed, and that made me open up to him in in the interview, and and that became that amazing article he did. Yeah, he's a, he's an unbelievable writer. Um, it's interesting, right? Because you're back now, and now everybody like a win over you gets a guy to the UFC now, right? Like, th is that a weird feeling? Like to have like Peter Sully obviously gets the call up straight out. Do you think guys are walking into the Nicholas Dalby fight going, oh, if I, if I can beat Nicholas Dalby, that means the UFC are going to be knocking on the door? Is, is that a compliment, or how do you feel about that? Well, yeah, when Peter Sully he got the contract after a previous fight, uh, I I knew that he got it on on like a late notice because they had a, another fight injured for, for that event. And I was bitter for the first five minutes. Like I was like, fuck, and oh, why didn't I win? I should have done more. But then I turned it into a good thing and I was like, we did what we could in that fight, both of us. Um, and that means they must be looking, you know, that I'm still on the radar. It feels like after that last win, like I, I saw, I felt like I saw the old Nicholas Dalby back in there. That last win was just, uh, it was fantastic. That finish, as I said before, do, does is that how you're feeling now? Do you feel like this is the best work you're doing at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. Do I might not be at at the my my best technical level ever, but I especially for this fight, I, I felt things in my striking, especially kind of click in a way that I haven't felt since maybe 2014 or 15. So, and, and, and also remembering that my mental health is, is way better than it was before. I feel that uh, maybe, yeah, in a year or so, I'll, I'll be the best locomotivo there's ever been. It's interesting because a lot of people think that the winner of this fight goes on to, to fo just given how many, the, the, the amount of people that are talking about it, the fact that, you know, Ross is there and there's a oh, new champion. Yeah, hot, sorry? He's going to be for the event. He's going to be here for the event. Um, I, I think so. Well, I mean, he's tweeting Cage Warriors 100 and stuff like this, so he could be. But is that is that something you'd be interested in? If that, if that was offered to you uh, af, over, after a win over Phil, would you be interested in fighting for that title again immediately? Absolutely. But it had to be Copenhagen. That's in March, right? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? You've got to be main event for this card, right? Uh, I might not be the main fight, but uh, for sure, yeah. That could be an excellent uh, addition to that fight card, right? Absolutely. F finally, and I know this is a bit of a, a silly question for you fighters, but we always ask it anyway. <laughs> Do you have a prediction for how this fight will finish? Uh, I usually don't, but I have a, I have a feeling this fight is going to end before uh, time runs out. Brilliant. Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. A gentleman.